<laughs> What's up, Nabooers? I got a thing. You want to see my thing? So I've been working on something that I thought would be really cool because it's a great opportunity to do something that uh, I've never done before. And with the Nabu computer, it's the perfect opportunity to do it because the, nothing exists for it um, outside of the original cycle, right? And I've been creating Nabu Lib and Cloud CPM. And I thought, wouldn't it be really wild if there was some sort of CPM CCP replacement operating environment, such as a graphical operating environment. So <laughs> this is something I started a couple days ago. Um, you'll actually, you can find it on the A drive in the RetroNet. It's not complete. It's just a prototype at this stage, but it uses the, uh, the, the joystick. And as you can see, the background's moving because with the hourglass because it's loading a bunch of drives. So I current, the last time I loaded it up, um, yeah, the last time I loaded it, I had a couple drives loaded here. I had the A drive and I had uh, B drive area zero, A drive area one. And I think this drive over here is my PC. Yeah, this is the internet adapter. So that's the computer drive on my computer. And um, so, yeah, you could, you could do what you could normally do with any graphic environment, as you would imagine. Um, grab windows, move them around, you know, <laughs> all sorts of different stuff. There's a, there's a hierarchy like of, of, of layers. So you can have like bring to front and send to back, etc. Um, you can open up new, uh, windows under file which the, this I have to do this manually right now from editing a text file because I haven't finished that one. I'm going to finish that probably tonight if I can, if I can during movie night. Uh, let's see here. So you can do things like cascade, get info of files, copy files, paste files, and you can add stuff to your, fan, your uh, favorites. So you can add things like um, RetroNet or any games you like, things like that. So you don't have to like navigate through. So you can just have a favorites, uh, essentially your bookmarks. And then in your far right over here, you have... Uh, a little help you can click on which just essentially just shows you the um the version number so what this is is a ccp replacement for cpm so it is part of the operating system so what i've done is i've built this into cpm through bdos to replace the ccp so you can launch it right now from the command line but we'll have eventually when you boot up cloud cpm bios you'll be able to choose whether you want a ccp environment or you want the graphic environment I always do a little diagram of some sort about when I talk about how uh, CPM works. And I just want to explain where this thing sits. So when we look at our memory that we talked about yesterday, um, we have up here the BIOS. And then we have the BDOS and the CCP. And then this is your TPA where your program runs. What this program that I've created is replacing is this thing, which is the command shell. And what that means is that, um, so let's talk about the BIOS again. So the BIOS is what talks to all the hardware, right? So it talks to your monitor, um, it talks to your keyboard, and it talks to your uh, floppy disk, or whatever you use for disk storage. So it, it's the thing that does everything for hardware, right? Because CPM itself, and this is everything beneath is essentially a CPM. Okay, so if I go like this, this is CPM. And by replacing the CCP with the cloud GUI, then programs and BDOS um, can be managed, navigated through. It's an operating environment. And how I guess, so I should explain something I didn't explain before. So the BIOS has a few different functions inside of it that the BDOS can communicate with. So the BDOS, I'll make that longer here because there's a bunch of stuff. Essentially it has um, the ability for the BDOS can say, I want to check if there's any keyboard input. Okay, this is just check for input. So it returns like a true or false. Then it can say, I want to actually receive input. So I'll just say RI, so get me some input. And then it can say, I want to output 
something to the console. Or the BDOS, remember this is BDOS here. So this is the thing that the NABU to operate disk list that I created, Cloud CPM BIOS. And then, so these are preset functions. So you have check if there's any input coming on the keyboard. So check for some, check for essentially like, um, like a cached byte that's sitting there, okay? Um, read the, the input, so read the actual byte that's available. Output something to the communication, so this is input, this is input, this is output. Then you have um, BDOS can say, as we mentioned in the last video, select a disk. So we could say select drive A, for example. And then BDOS can say, I wanna write to the selected disk. So we'll say W for write. Or I could say, I wanna read from the selected disk. And it can also say what track it wants to set the head to. And it could also say what sector to set the head to. Okay, and there's a few other function calls, but these are static and predefined for CPM, for a BIOS. And there's a skeleton, and you'll be able to find that by Googling and just typing in CPM BIOS. And here you go. We can see here that these are the, the functions that the BIOS, that you need to have. You need these. You, the BIOS, the CPM will not be able to operate if you do not have a boot, a warm boot, con the console stuff, um, select disk and read and write. You don't need the like list and punch. I mean, you need them there. They have to go someplace and they have to return something, but you don't need any content inside of them. So what, uh, what, the, what my new program is doing, the operating environment, is it's allowing um, the BDOS to be configured. So you'll be able to configure uh, your serial output, right? So what, where your output's gonna be sent to. You will just specify what list device you're using. You'll be able to copy files. Um, you'll be able to do all these different things. And how it does that is because underneath BDOS is the CCP and the TPA. We're replacing the CCP with a GUI. And the BDOS has way more functions than these few things here. Here's the header file for the CPM library um, of Z88DK. And these are the BDOS system calls. So as you can see, there's only you know 10 or 12, whatever it is, uh, BIOS calls. The TPA and the CCP talking to the BDOS has a lot more function calls, system calls available. It's friendlier for the TPA, the program, to be able to open and close files, delete files, read records, all that kind of stuff, versus having to read and write raw data from the floppy and then parse it itself. BDOS takes care of all that. So essentially, the GUI is gonna sit right here in between the TPA and BDOS, and it's gonna replace the command prompt so that you can have a nice operating environment that will be graphical. Copying files between the internet adapter to locally, copying files between different windows uh, and user areas, sorry, and different drives. Um, yeah, and you'll be able to also, I'll add shortcuts eventually for the keyboard, but right now um, using the joystick to move the cursor around. And it does have inertia, so the longer you hold it, the faster the cursor goes, and the cursor will wrap as well which is nice, so you don't have to always um, worry about trying to get across the screen quickly. And yeah, so that's what I've been working on. I know a few of you have uh, mentioned that I've been working on something cool, so I wanted to, uh, to show it to you. So I should have something released in the next, I don't know, maybe about a week or so. We'll see um, what my time frame looks like, because you're gonna probably think this is pretty neat. Um, retro net. Now again, this is not completed, and there's a bunch of bugs. <laughs> and I don't like to talk about something that I've done before doing it. You know, you can't build a reputation on things you're going to do, as Henry Ford always said. But this is a 64-column um, retrochat.
So we have retro net chat in 64 columns. <laughs> so I thought that's pretty cool. So there's a lot, uh, rather than the 40 columns, which we've used before, now it's gonna be 60 columns or 64 columns. So <laughs> I think that's gonna be really neat. I just have to do a few more formatting things and get uh, a few stuff done and, oh, there's somebody there. <laughs> okay, anyway, well, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.